Jennifer from Fiberflux. Welcome to the 2019 Fiberflux Spring Crochet Along. This is the very first day and the first week of our crochet along. I know a lot of you have been patiently waiting and anticipating the spring crochet along, and it's finally here. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about an overview of the project and also uh, the supplies needed and uh, the calendar of the sequence of things that we're going to be covering as we move through the weeks of the crochet along. This will be four weeks. We'll have week one, week two, week three, week four, and then the week after we'll do a big reveal and sh everybody can share their pieces. Now, we are going to be making a lovely spring shawl, and this shawl is called the flowering herbs shawl. So as you can see, I have some ends here. Mine is also a work in progress because I'm crocheting this along with you. But this is a beautiful shawl. We're gonna be using uh, Red Heart's Chic Sheep Yarn. And as you can see, it's connected to my project. I'm still stitching away. So I do work on these projects along with you. Um, but we're gonna be making a sequence of V stitches, some really simple V stitches in like a neutral kind of ground color so it looks like flowers are coming up out of the ground and then we're going to be doing also uh, some green V stitches to represent the flowers and the stems or the stems and the, and the leaves of the flower excuse me and then we're going to be adding some puff stitches to the tops of our green and I have a variety of colors here we'll talk a little bit more about the colors later on in this video but we're going to be adding some puff stitches and that will represent the little flowers. So it looks like little flowers growing in rows all across our shawl. And I have some hot pink, some bright purple, and some beautiful yellow, really super like fresh springy colors. So I just wanted to mention a couple of things before we jump into the supplies. Uh, one thing, if you haven't joined the Ravelry group, this is the, the Fiber Flux Crochet Along groups. There's a lot of you in there, but if you haven't joined yet, I highly recommend that you join our Crochet Along group because that is where you can hop in there and join all of the other makers working on the crochet alongs, and you can kind of show off your work. You can kind of, uh, a lot of people will go in and say, what do you think about these colors? Should I do the purple? Should I do the yellow? Uh, and people can kind of weigh in and help each other. There are also some crochet veterans in there who will have been crocheting for a long, long time and really just do a wonderful job of jumping in and helping people. It's a very fun and friendly environment where you can feel free to ask questions and I hop on there regularly and answer questions as well. And it's also a great place to show off your work. So as you're working on your shawl, you can just kind of show off your work and um, it's, it's just a fun space. So if you haven't joined that group, definitely do that and I'll put the link down below for that. Also, as you're working on your pieces and you select your yarn and you have some photos to share, be sure, be sure and use the hashtag FiberFluxCal and I'll put that up top. And that way, when you click on that in social media, any of the social media platforms, when you click on that, you can see everyone's photos kind of collectively of what we're all working on. So let's jump into the supplies and next week we're going to be moving on to our project. So we're just kind of talking about supplies this week, but we're going to be covering the V-stitch section next week for week two. For week three, we're going to be talking about these puff flowers, the puff stitch flowers. And then for week four, we're going to be adding some bright tassels using some of these colors to all four corners of our shawl, and then covering the finish work. As you can see, I have some finish work to do, so I'll save that for week four, and we'll do the finish work together. So let's jump in and talk about the supplies and more details about the project. For this project, you'll need a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, a ruler or tape measure is super helpful to get the length that you need, You'll also need a five millimeter H crochet hook. I'm gonna be using my furl streamline just as a side note in case you're wondering. And then let's talk about the yarn. I'm gonna be using a newer yarn that's out there called Chic Sheep by Red Heart Yarn. Um, I've used this for a couple other projects and it's a yarn I really love working with. It is 100% merino. And each ball of this, let me just find it over here. Here it is. Each ball of this is 186 yards or 170 meters. 
And we're going to be using a lot of different colors for this, but we're going to be using three balls of kind of like a neutral color. So if you're if you're replicating these colors exactly, I'm going to be using three balls of the linen colorway. It's kind of like a kind of like a parchment color, an off-white. So three balls of that. And then we're going to need a color for our leaf or a stem of our flowers. And I'm going to be using the Chic Sheep in the Polo colorway. That's this real pretty green. And then you'll just need one color for the flower, but I, if you want to add more colors, you know, feel free to do that. Um, so you only need one color yardage-wise for your flowers, but I'm going to incorporate some other colors as well. So as an option, you can do that too. This color is called Fairy Tail. This bright yellow is called Mimosa. And then this deep kind of purpley fuchsia color is called Vineyard. So those are the yarns that we'll be using for this project, but you'll need one ball for the stem slash leaves, one ball for the flowers, you can add on more flowers if you like, and three balls of the kind of neutral in between the flowers color. So feel free to use any yarn you like, and if you do need to substitute, just look on the yarn label for a yarn that also recommends this five millimeter H crochet hook and is a four or medium on the yarn weight scale, and you'll be just fine. The finished sizing of this shawl is about 14 inches wide and we're going to go to about 60 inches long. However, you can make this as long as sh or short as you like it to be. If you want it to be a little shorter, just simply work less repeats of the pattern. So that's basically all you need to get started. And like I mentioned before, hop on over to the Ravelry group. The link is down below. And also when you share your work, use the hashtag FiberFluxCal. So that's all for this week. And I will see you next week where we're going to be learning how to work these rows of V stitches. And the following week, we'll be learning how to make the puff stitch flowers. And then we'll wrap it all up in week four by weaving in the ends and making some beautiful tassels. Thanks so much for watching. And be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest FiberFlux video updates. Thanks again.